colder than today. If it's red or orange, it's warmer than today. So you see the majority of the world is colder. Um, and then as we go through Industrial Revolution, start pumping all those greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, etc., into the atmosphere, we see our planet gradually begin to warm. So here we are in the 60s, the 70s. And as we approach today, this is sort of our baseline, and then we project out into the future. Again, this is just a model showing you what might happen if we continue to pollute at our current rates. We call this a business as usual model. So some patterns emerge. Again, you notice the continents warming a lot more quickly than the oceans do. The oceans have a bigger heat capacity, so they don't warm as much. Um, and you also notice areas up near the poles. So if I tilt the poles down, especially near the Arctic, warming considerably. So we're looking at the Arctic up here. And you're seeing, you know, by 2200, if we were to extend it out, you know, warming 15, 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty significant amounts of warming. 